just to catch up on chat um yeah i uh, we're the same nape as most of the cantonese like all you can eat buffets have gone from from here as well so yeah we're in the same sort of boat we had a time where we had like loads of them and they even did like the little plastic takeout boxes that you could do as well so um yeah we don't have any i don't think here anymore um yeah we've, we've done though we was here at the start of last stream crazy but um we're kind of stuck at the minute we need a specific card to progress to the next area so we're just kind of like trying to see if we can get hold of one so we're just kind of grinding a little bit at the minute um you know pretty much cut up you is actually uh you've been on a teaching course so you was usually in bed by about 10 yikes uh good to see you though hypes good to see you back and uh, hope the teaching course uh, went well. Yeah. Oh, I missed the beast card. That was I missed the beast card, not a missed the beast card. Not to get confused. Fire. Fire. Freeze. Power. Like free, like the blizzard is as good as the fire. to focus on content creation and work part-time instead. Well, uh, hope it works out for you. Hope it goes well. You start a uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer run yesterday, which is fun. Yeah, I'm... Uh, uh, I've said to a few people, I don't think I'm uh, certainly not going to uh, be disappointed to see the back of this game. <laughs> it's um i'm still enjoying it don't get me wrong but it's getting a little bit um repetitive and grindy now i think so yeah i'll be definitely happy once we get to the end of this uh, there are a lot of games in the kingdom heart franchise crazy yes there are I'm currently playing the um I'm currently playing the one uh, the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 2.5 remix on PS4 which has six games I think on it then I've got the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 collection once I'm done with this which has maybe hypes can correct me but I think it has another three or four and then there is Kingdom Hearts 3 but there are um some others as well I do believe There are um, other people who are much better suited to um, um, answer those sorts of questions than I am. All right, have we picked up a red seven yet? That would be a no. I've only got room for another eight cards as well. Um. You uh, taking a nap over there, Deathwish? Uh, one second, be right back. All right, no worries.
I believe I won't be playing the DS games hypes. I'll just be playing. I'll be watching the um, the movies that are included on the uh, uh, this collection. So. Yeah, so this game uh, that we're playing right now, this was originally a Game Boy Advanced game, crazy. The original Kingdom Hearts came out in 2002. Uh, and yeah, this was the sequel, I believe, that came out on, um, not kind of a sequel, but not a direct sequel. Yeah, this came out on the Game Boy Advanced. I know you've not been here for a while, Hives, but um, in other news, um, off stream, I have um, managed to get the uh, platinum for Kingdom Hearts 1. So we are officially all done with Kingdom Hearts 1. Pretty nice. I mean, I do plan on platinum, like, platting most of the games. It's just something that I can't commit to doing on the stream. So, like, the streams are going to be more like this. Well, okay, we're going to play through the games, and then off stream is where I'll do all the kind of like the grindy stuff. It would just take far too long. Are you uh, still working on your Doctor Who stuff, uh, Doctress? Your Dalek Emperor model, nice. That was that was some uh, good work there. Uh, brilliant work. It is the Dalek Emperor model. So Dalek Emperor is um, you familiar with Doctor Who? Nah, I mean, maybe Doctors can explain a little better. But Doctors was um, uh, giving us the rundown a, a few streams ago, uh, what he's kind of like working on. Yeah, I've never, me. I've never really, I've watched, I've, I've watched a little bit of the old series, but not, not enough to really, to really understand anything about it. I'm pretty clueless. Oh, this is getting painful. I don't know. I didn't feel a thing. Ah, look at you.
So, how's it pronounced? Dalek? Dalek. 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 Okay. So, what is, what is that and within the show? Because that, yeah, I don't understand. Didn't Dr. Doctor Who have the phone booth? Yeah, the TARDIS, yeah. Yeah. That's right. I do believe, um, didn't Demon make a portal map quite recently? With somebody in there, they were kind of like it was based in the TARDIS, if I remember rightly. Maybe somebody can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I guess the TARDIS does. That's a police thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's a 19, is a 1960s police police phone box kind of thing from the UK. Yeah, I mean. In comparison, our phone booths look like it, but yeah. Uh, I was just making sure that TARDIS, as I know it, it it's like a phone booth, but it was for police. Yeah. Okay. Never had such a thing. We just had a staff police knocking on the door and beat you over the head when you open it. Or shoot you. <laughs> Oops, we're sorry. You got the wrong address. Have fun with your medical bills. Yeah, so like uh, the the police box that the TARDIS is designed around, though, is kind of like more. It's well, like whereas the phone box, a traditional phone box, is kind of like glass. Um, Brass fronted and you can see into it. The TARDIS is actually kind of like, or the police phone box is just sort of like solid walls kind of thing. It's all closed off as opposed to being transparent. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Telephone booths that we used to have over here were yeah, glass all the way around. Yeah. But, yeah, so like yeah. public public phone boxes were. Yeah. Um, I guess because, and I don't know if there's, there's any truth to this, but I guess because they police boxes were, you know, used by the police. Right. Um, they were closed off, whereas I guess public phone boxes are see through as like an element of safety. Know, sa safety, so that you can see what's going on inside, sort of thing. Yeah. So somebody can't come in and be doing things without. Yeah. Being seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was, it was strictly 100% of safety. Whereas, yeah, I can understand why police wouldn't want to have that. You would have vandals or any number of other things occur. Yeah. So, yeah, totally understandable. Okay, so um, I don't know if. I've still got anybody in chat here who's familiar with this game. Um, is there an easy way, if there is anybody in chat, to get like specific room cards? Because this grind just seems to be going on and on and on and I'm not actually making any progress. Uh, well, I happen to know that you can go to the main level, speak with the concierge, and they will provide you with pretty much anything you like if you have enough money. Okay. Do y'all not have concierge? There we have, yeah. We have concierge. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, then go to the concierge. Get you a room key. Can synthesize a roulette room? You can, can you? How might I go about doing that, Hypes? I'll uh, look into that in a minute. Also, since I hate them. No. 
Oh, that's already one. Oh, so you can do it. Okay. That's interesting. We'll certainly have a look at that in a minute, perhaps. And obviously you can change the room, because I've done that a couple of times now. But I wasn't aware that... Um, I don't, I don't want the slide and dash. It's freaking wizard. Thank you very much. I wasn't aware that you could actually synthesize cards on that as well. Well, I tried to tell you that before. Oh, sorry, Deathwish. You cut me off when I was talking about things. Or, or maybe it was mushrooms or something. It was, it was definitely something off topic. What? Well, we go off topic? Never. I mean, if we're not off topic, then we're not on topic. Hold on, though. If I synthesize. Um, if I just check types, if I synthesize a, um, like a room, a card using a room that I've already been to, does it have to be used on that position where I'm synthesizing it, or can I take it with me? Because see, the reason I need a specific card is to open a new door anyway. Keep it cool. Freeze. Freeze. We'll uh, go and take a look at that in a minute. I mean, I suppose, if nothing else, at least, it's um, allowed us to grind a few more levels, right? No, no, well, it's it's an idea. It's an idea. What he's saying is make sure quote him on that. Spite. Well, I'm not seeing a way to synthesize there. Got to have a synthesizer. Yeah, so I need a I need a red seven to get to the final like the heart room in here in Hollow Bastion, and I don't have a red seven, so. can't buy room cards from the Moogle either. Let's, um, let's have a quick look on this on Google. How to get a specific numbered card in Rechain of Memories. use Google. If you need a specific card to open a door, but you can't find it, follow these easy guidelines to get it. Find a room with a low requirement, preferably a door that says one or up. It does not matter if the door is already open. Strike the door with a card with monsters. Fight the heartless inside until they run out, or you find the card you need. Repeat until you have the card. Remember that zeros work as any card unless the number is X equals. If there's an equals, you need, you'll need the card. Also, you can't use zeros for X up storyline doors. Oh, 
right. That kind of sounds a bit... Yikes. Fortunately. Um... I mean, this is the place to do it, because this is like a one-up door. Oh, this is zero equals door. All right, let me just... Can I check? Does it tell me the requirement of this door here? Yeah. That's a one-up. Even is the heartless door. Oh, is it? Yes, yeah, the map of the like the layout of the level at the minute. Crazy. I think I've blocked off access to this room. Because I've changed the layout of the room, I think I can no longer get to where I need to go. So I can't actually check. Huh. That's annoying. decided whether I'm playing it on stream or not yet. It's crazy, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I was going to guess a big no. I mean, streaming at the minute has been just sort of Kingdom Hearts, so... Never say never. Like that. I saw where on Discord where Sears apparently did videos on uh, Talos, but Fire. somebody didn't like. Yeah, did you see my? Did you see my response to that? <laughs> yeah, yeah I well, that was that was my first response. Or my basically first, trying first, reading between the stop. lines. Yeah, I was like, that was my first thought. I was like, they're, they're looking for an answer because they can't figure it out. <laughs> then I saw yours and I was like, there you go. No need for me to say anything. <laughs> Heal. <clears throat> yeah, you kind of make yourself pretty obvious when you complain about something like that. Yeah. On, on a yeah. on a uh, game that does not have a particular order. Play your thing, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's uh, Fire. It, for, for like a it's pretty much it's like an Fire. open world kind of puzzle kind of thing. Yeah, as long as the level's open, you can play any which one of them you want for the most part. Yeah, to well, to a point. But. And then you gotta unlock others, yeah. that yeah. sort of thing. Still, it's not like maybe you see one, two, three by any means. Fire. I think I would kind of compare it to Viewfinder in a, in a sense. Man, this guy is such a jerk. I hate the big guys. Uh, crazy, yes, I will be playing it. I have already uh, pre purchased it. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I clicked on. I clicked on the title. I opened up Steam for the first time in like a couple of weeks. I clicked on Dallas Principle and I saw. All the people it's just the, in the feed, it's like you gave me designer added it to their library. Yeah. Storage, 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 psychological item, <laughs> knock, big red foot. 
The race uh, super out to an iron smeltery, me, Conclan, Dire Domino, Mikestra, etc., etc. Okay, it looks like the uh, the requirement has changed now. I've read on the room and the requirement has changed. So um, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. And not allowed. When we, when we come back, we will uh, go through the Heartless door and uh, see if we can't finish off Hollow Bastion. So uh, give me two minutes, guys, and I will be right back. Um, I mean, that's, I guess that's down to you. It's like a personal thing. Uh, for us see. You all know how uh, dedicated to a cause I am. You feel yeah, like uh, um, sorry. Hang on, you go, you go right ahead. No, I was just gonna. I was just get, gonna get your rambling you. out of the way because I'm I'm about to probably go in story mode in a minute. So get get your ramble out. Come on. Uh, I already did when nobody was listening. And I was muted. Um, I was just gonna ask you. Do you have like a fan or something running in the background? No, that's my PlayStation. Uh that loud yeah playstation 4 is that loud the original playstation 4 is like a jet engine seriously Holy crap wow well i've never had one so I, and the, yeah. to be fair this this game is um quite light on the fans uh oh, wow if i boot up <laughs> final fantasy 7 it's probably twice as loud as that so <laughs> holy crap yeah. Uh, they, they put some water cooling in that sucker. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, the, the PS5 has got water cool, liquid cooling inside of it to uh, alleviate that problem, but. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't have one of on my own at the minute. And, you know, it's taken, me, it's taken me about five years to actually get my PS4 back off my son, so, you know, can't grumble well, too much. Uh, well, while he's sleeping, swap <laughs> him out. I mean, yeah, that's too much hassle. Have you seen you, you the size of the PS4? PS4 is like the size of a freaking PC, man. It's huge. Ridiculous. Uh, anyway, let's, um, let's jump into story time and uh, see if we can't take Maleficent down, I guess, because uh, I'm sure a boss fight will ensue. Change your accents. You've done well to make it this far, beast. As your reward, I'll tell you why Bell rejected you. My dark magic requires hearts of utmost beauty. Bell was perfect, deep in her heart. Her love for you shone with uncommon radiance. But she guessed my plans. By denying her love for you, she put her heart beyond my reach. But she saved me. She protected me. She couldn't, she couldn't hide how she really felt. I've heard enough. Release her heart now. If you don't. Hmm. 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 Do not try my patience. Don't you realize why I'm telling you all this? See, look, I've, I've now completely forgotten how I was doing Maleficent's voice. So this whole segment is just going to sound <laughs> absolutely terrible. Did you was think it, it was out of kindness? I did it to erase your doubts. Now your heart is beginning to shine with love for Belle. I shall have your heart too, monster. Not if we stop you. You dare to challenge me? Pitiful fools. All right. Oh, it's the dragon. Hopefully the dragon's not as much of a jerk as it was in the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, because this was quite a tricky Fire. boss. Fire. 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 Freeze. Thunder. Heal in here, please. Yep. 
also playing the game Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer, yeah. Well, I'm not, I never played it, but I know what it is. Oh, wow. Back in the... Arcade. Everybody was just like, come on. You are dead, dragon. We didn't, we didn't know. First, back then, we didn't know that it wasn't actually rendering anything. It was just playing a cartoon. Yeah. And you made you made certain choices as you went, but because the uh, AKA graphics were concerned, were like unheard of. You, know, you just didn't have anything that smooth and clean. People were dumping quarters like crazy. So, yeah. Uh, more story, dude. Shit. My bad. No, that's fine. Oh. Nice time for a bit of romance. Thank goodness. Please forgive me. I had to be cruel to you. But no matter how hard, how I tried, I couldn't hide my true feelings. I'm the one who should apologize for doubting you. I never want to remember feeling that way. So angry. So alone. Then don't. Let's replace the sad memories with happier ones, starting now. Bell. There they go, with the mushy stuff. Ahirk! Yeah, I think it's time we got on our way. Good idea. Let's keep moving. Dragon's Lair is the thing where you kind of like sat on the horse, right? Sat on the horse and kind of like tried to dodge things, right? Am I thinking uh, about the right thing? No. No, I mean you're a guy. Uh, like you know, medieval times, but you're a guy that had a sword, and you basically ran along. And it, at certain points, you had to quickly decide to go left or right or straight or. Or dodge, okay. dodge left, right, or straight, or back, or whatever. So it was a simplistic game, but you had to make the right move, and it was just a process of elimination of, okay, that was the wrong move, let me try this next time. Because there yeah, was okay. no way to really know what was the correct move until after you did it. Because it would do something you didn't even expect, and go, oh, wow, I never saw that coming. Yeah. And... And you had to, and you had to make these decisions like every, it could be every five, ten, fifteen seconds to thirty seconds, but you know, depending on whatever. And then if you messed up a few times, you had to dump in more quarters. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. And then and then it came out on the 3DO, and I played through it and beat it. So it was my cousin. Wait, 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 just, just, hold on a minute, take a step back. You finished a game? You beat a game? Jeez, you were, you was a different person back then. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I beat, I, I beat pretty much every game I played back in the day. I beat every single Mega Man. Uh, I beat, I beat that one. I beat Seventh Guest, I beat, you name it, yeah. I didn't stop until I beat him, I was you back then. <laughs> my older my older self got less patient even though i wasn't patient then i'm actually more patient now with different things but games i'm not as patient so. but yeah you're spot on yeah surprising but yeah i, I stuck with it and uh, beat it it was fun but yeah it's, speaking of like that seventh guest Great, the sequel sucked. 
Yeah, I, I play. I I remember you telling me about Seventh Guest, and I actually got it on Steam, and I, I played it. And for the time, it was. I, I can see. Uh, like for the time it was released, I could see probably why it was such a good game. Yeah, it's su it sucks now if you try to play it. Yeah, I mean, obviously comparing it to like anything you play now, it's just like. Eh. Very yeah, similar to, I guess it's very similar to like Mist, isn't it? Like the original Mist. Well, that I could sort just... of way. It's like lots of video kind of rendered sequences and. Um, yeah, and you had to move, but like moving to one place to another. Yeah. You had to just watch that same animation again over and over. Yeah. But back then, you didn't care about that. You were just used to waiting, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I even I, I remember even back then just getting like, okay, come on, just go, I just want to go there. I know how to do. It. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up! Damn it, wrong way. I clicked on the wrong spot. It went that way instead of the other way I went. I wanted to go, and then it was like, crap! Now I got to go through that animation back out. Yeah. Okay, so we're just about to walk through the door here. Uh, we're going to get story time, as we always do, when we head back to Castle Oblivion. Now, I'm quite curious of what's going to happen next, because we are actually out of um, location cards. So, we're at floor 10. I don't know how many floors there are in total in Castle Oblivion, but it does make me wonder what's going to happen next. So, um, yeah, let's, let's walk through and um, see what's what. Are you I am Vexen. I have come to collect your debt, Sora. A debt? Sora, do you owe something to this guy? Come on, of course not. Oh, but you do. You owe me for reuniting you with your former friend. Uh, you don't mean indeed I do. I'm the one who brought Riku to you. Then... You're the one... You're the one who's been controlling him! What have you done with him? I see no need to give you information about where Riku is. After all... Why trouble you in your final hour? Alright, we're thrust straight into a boss fight then. Need a heal. Heal. Okay. Look that. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's interesting. Magic seems to work, but I think what I need to do here is I think I need some more zero cards in my deck. 
cancel his big moves. So, let's see if we can add a few more to the deck, I guess. Pipes, tell us how you really feel. Yeah, I mean, don't hold back. I mean... <laughs> The safe space where you can share, you know, what you really, what you really feel, and what you really mean. <laughs> I'm a six, six over. Got a cheaper zero card anywhere? I'll work, I guess. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. It was uh, relatively quiet during that one, Deathwish. Oh, I'm just holding back. All right, so I think we need to throw out Jafar here. But that only stops breaking attack cards. Um, is magic? A magic cards classed as attack cards. Sure, why not? I know you saying that is one thing, but <laughs> um, reality is another. Yeah, I mean, Yeah, are magic cards classed as attack cards? So that's not the deck I want. All right, so we could potentially use Jafar here, which will stop enemies breaking my cards for 20 attacks. Boogie Boogie is kind of like a regen, so we might want to throw Boogie Boogie out. Air Pirate stops item cards from being broken. Oh, that could be a good one, seeing as predominantly we're using fire spells. Um, increase the strength of fire based abilities. Um, stops reload counter from counting reloads. Ah. That high? Really? I think you're just making numbers up now, Deathwish. <laughs> now I can screenshot it for you. That's all good. I believe you. I know. I wouldn't lie about that. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't have paid you that one time yeah. when, you, when you nailed it. I would have been like, nope, we're off by one. <laughs> I mean, two, because there has to be an even number, right? Yeah. See, I would have caught myself in a lie if I tried to fake it. Okay, so I'm thinking we take the let's take away that and we're going to instead use the increase the strength of fire based abilities which is good for one reload so Throw, I think we throw that card out first, the Red Nocturne card. Then we use Jafar. And then um, if we probably use Oogie Boogie after that to start a regen. His health was getting a bit of an issue towards the end. So we'll try, we'll try with this and see how we get on. 
Mephirius, thank you very much for hanging as always. Appreciate it. Um, have a good night. And we night, will hopefully Morpheus. catch you next time. See you on Wordle tomorrow. I don't know if I have to. I don't know if it saves in between. I'm sure it would save. Okay, I need to remember to throw out my special cards. Actually, use them. At least the battle theme is quite a gem. That's something. was not better equipped that time crazy <laughs> as the fight was a lot shorter i thought i was better equipped but i think maybe my tactics were not as good maybe we should throw jafar out first rather than the um red nocturne card Be a jerk. Boom. He's dead. The zero cards are like massively helpful there because it cancels his combos, and I was more aware of it that time. So, yeah. He died. Story time. As I expected, you weren't one to die very easily. As if I'd ever lose to you. I wouldn't be so sure. Did you even notice? I was delving deep into your memory as we fought. And here, look what I found. A card crafted from all the memories that are locked in the other side of your heart. Wait! Memories in the other side?
Explorer learns freeze. Just a shame I don't have any stock cards. Twilight Town. Interesting. Twilight Town wasn't part of the original. I got a bad feeling about this. We should all be careful. The other side of your heart? Is that where the stuff you forget goes? If Sora disappears, that would mess up the organization's plans. I trust that you know what you need to do. Haven't a clue, really. Maybe you could spell it out for me. Vexen has clearly committed a treasonous act against the organization. You must eliminate the traitor. No taking that back later. A card made out of memories from the other side of your heart? Hmm, I wonder what it does. We'll find out soon enough. It's the only one we have left. No other way to move forward. All right, Twilight Town it is. want to change my deck up a little bit here. I think there are memories of the other side of my heart. Kind of scary. You ask me, Vexen's way into trappers. Mm. Well, the sounds of the, uh, what the organization was just talking about, I don't think Vexen is going to be doing anything, uh, Donald, because uh, I think they're actually going to uh, dispose of him. Uh, okay, we'll leave those zero cards on for now. I don't. We might need to replace them with some physicals, uh, but we'll see how um, things go once we enter Twilight Town. 